We return to the Chikaramoja ghetto in Vule Sale, Namatala Ward, Industrial Division in Imbali Town, where the girls disappeared last night. Zakaria Laumo is the area chairperson. He tells me that this is the first reception center for those in transit from Karamoja, especially women and children. They come to Namatala after staying for one month. You find that they have gone to Iganga. Just like that, they continue moving like that. Others, they can stay here. Others, they proceed up to Tororo or Higanga or Jinja, up to Kampala. Feeling confident, I also asked him if he had any information of the new arrivals, especially the two girls who had arrived last night. So when they say that the two children, they have entered here tonight. So that means that I must also fall. How did they come? Are they walking with, I mean, somebody who's big or they are coming alone? Desperate to find answers to this question, he joins us as we traverse the slum, searching for the two girls. After close to 30 minutes of combing through the slum, we seem to have made headway when we recognize somebody who has close resemblance with one of the girls, but to our disappointment, it was a false lead. We then narrow our search on a family within the slum which had lost a son who was studying in a secondary school like the girls had earlier alleged. We eventually traced someone who knew the two girls. She confirms to us that the two girls are her sisters. She also tells us that the two girls were sent back to Karamoja when one was two years and the other four years. She, however, did not know about their return. We finally end our search for the girls. During our investigations, we also discovered that there were other means that the Karamajong children and their mothers used to get to these urban centers. Since it's increasingly becoming difficult to cross the Iriri border checkpoint due to the security personnel deployed there, others trek long distances with their children through a different route. If they don't use Iriri, uh, Soroti Road, they use uh, a Peitolim Road that goes up to Amuria and then out there to Soroti or to, to Lira and then to Kampala. While others trek past the Iriri border point before they get on a bus to Kampala. They are getting wiser every day. They are also trying hard to struggle and ensure that we get them so that they go to school. These are school going children who should be future citizens, I mean, sorry, future leaders of Karamoja. Whatever the means, these women and children eventually make it through to the streets of these towns. In the last episode of Mission to Survive, we tell you what happens when these children reach the capital Kampala and their fate on the streets. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.